Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another transfer review. Yeah. So today I'll be taking a look at the uh, Earthrise Warp Cybertron Skylings. Yay. Beautiful, beautiful box art. I love that. It looks good. It's got the cone heads up there. You got Sky, you got Lynx. Pretty cool. Very nice. You got Thrust over there. Once again, over here, same thing you see all the time. And you got some product shots and everything. So very neato potato. But hey, let's just get to the review. That's what you came for. So yeah. All right, there they are. There's Sky and there's Link. So let's take a quick look at what they come with. So it does come with a little planet mode over and you get the little decoder. And let's see what it says. Char up there. Pretty cool. And then Dead Universe. Ooh, what could that mean? Who knows? I guess we'll find out if we do another cartoon series. And it comes with two little side pieces right here. Then we'll go in here and I'll show you in a little bit. But it got some nice silver paint right there and some silver paint right there as well. So they're little blasters. You get two of those. Pretty cool. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blast effects. Ooh. And they can form a big one if you want to. Uh, Put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. One of mine's a little bent, a little, a little crooked. And then you make a big, big, long fire blast. So pretty cool. I love the blast effects. I love how they incorporate them, and that's really cool. So, yep, that is all he comes with. All right, let's take a quick look at each, in, each of them in their alt modes. And here he is in the space shuttle. This is Sky. And then you got some nice, mostly it's white paint, but you got some nice gray kind of a darker gray right there on the tip and tip right there and some right here as well nice gold right there for the windows and a window strip right there nice sculpted you know some detail work in there I like that some sculpt work on there I like that see that's gray right there too you got magnificence and nasa that's really sweet and i love love this autobot symbol it's red with the gold background that is pretty sweet. And you got the nice, like I said, the you know grayish white. And you got some nice scope work in there on the wings. These do open. And this will be for base mode, but you can open that. Nice gold paint right there. Some scope work in there as well. That's pretty neato. You got some nice gold right here. Scope work. And you got gray right here and white. This does move that way like that if you want to. Very nice. I said, love that Autobot symbol. Then you got the blasters. They don't move, uh, but you can also put your uh, little blast effects in here. So it looks like it's got flames coming out. That's pretty cool. Like that. Around, same thing around here like that. Underneath looks pretty clean. You know, you can tell there's a little legs right there, but I think it cleans up just, just good enough. And you got some nice white plastic and you got the gray plastic as well. So pretty cool. That is Sky right there. He's got a good weight to him. No die cast, but it's, you know, heavy plastic like that. Look at uh, Lynx. And this little, I don't know what they call this, but it does roll. He does have wheels right here and right here. Some nice works. And silver, all this is painted right here. You got the red painted right here. Nice paint apps. You got some gun metal right here, silver. There's not much to him, you know. So right there. Got the treads in there. That's pretty sweet. Got the gun metal. Once again, paint. That's pretty cool. You can. Open this up right here. You can put your little MicroMaster in there. That's pretty sweet. I'll put that in later on. And then underneath. Pretty cool. I like that. I like the treads and everything. So not much to them. Just this little landing pad right there. So there you go. That's a Sky and Lynx in their alt mode separate. All right. So let's combine them. So you got this right here. And you got this right here. And that's going to go right here. You got a little locking mechanism right there to lock it in place. First, you want to get the back part. So you want to come at like an angle and like that. Let's see if I can get it. It's going to let me do it on camera. Come on now. Uh, 
Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, <laughs> man, through a little bit, but yeah, you just push it forward a little bit and it'll clip on right there. And then you got this little, you gotta lock it in right place and it is secure. That's cool. Well, there he is together. Looks really neat, I like it. Now this thing does come out a little bit every once in a while. It doesn't really lock in that well, but that's pretty cool. I like it, I think that's pretty neat looking. So there he is, there's Skylinks put together in his alt mode. So there's not really any articulation. I mean, and then you can, like I said, you can put these, you can put them right here or back here if you want to. Doesn't really matter where you want. And you can put them like that. You have little blasters or you put them in the back like that. And that's pretty neat though. So um, not much articulation to them in this mode. So but that's pretty cool. You can add those things right there. Real quick scale, there's a uh, Siege Deluxe class. And then here's a uh, MP car. X Trans bots a uh, dead end right there. Scale. And Crapagonics, a bottle Gatorade, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, let's transform these fellas. We'll do it separately. Take these off real quickly. And what you want to do is, like I said, you just want to release this tab right here. Release that. There you go. So we'll transform links first. So you just want to take these out right here. Do that. Do that. Like that. You want to bring these down like that. Oh, listen to those ratchets. Woo! Got soft ratchets right there. Ratchets right there. Move that down. Oof. There you go. There you go. And then you want to open that up right there. Reveal the head. Rawr. And then we'll close that up. And, oh, the little tail. Put these out right here, and there you go. There is Lynx transformed. All right, get him out of the way a little bit. We'll transform uh, Sky. So you open up this right here, reveal the tail. There you go, and then you want to untab right there. Well, you want to untab these right here. There you go. No. So they're tabbed in right up under there, so it's in there good. Golly, come on there you go. And then untab it from right there. And you just wanna flip it like that, and back like that. Flip it up like that, turn it back like that. Release the wings. And then you wanna extend that like that. And then you got his legs, nice ratchets, wow, good ratchets. Do that, do that, spread open the toes. And there you go, that is Sky transformed as well. Up close and personal. Yeah, that's how you transform them into their bot modes. All right, we'll take a look at links real quick. I put Sky up and I'll bring him on anything, but we'll go over articulation. Not much else changed as far as paint wise or anything detail wise. I forgot to say there's a lot of sculpt work whenever I showed him in his uh, platform mode or whatever, but nice gold paint for the, uh, you know, the head. And then you got some nice blue eyes and you got that nice little Autobot symbol right there. He can't open his mouth and he does have the uh, little thing right there and you can put in blast effects if you want to. Now, you can just add one of these things and it'll be fine. But I think if you try to put the whole big thing on there like that, you can close it up. I see it even a little bit, a little looser in there and thing. But let's say if you try to put the big one like this right here, it's not going to hold. So, but you can put a little blast effect in there. That's really cool. And everything. So head movement, you can go down quite a bit up a little bit and you can move up and down this right here and you can go side to side as well and no twist would be cool if you had a little twist but still nice head movement for uh, the the um, head and everything it's a beautiful head sculpt I like it gold nice right there you got that little blast right there I guess you can put something I don't know if you can put anything right there yeah you can put blast effects right there too so that's pretty cool all right, moving on the legs. I'm just going to show one leg because they're all the same uh, the, as far as uh, articulation. So you go out to there, nice hard ratchet. You go all, almost all the way around, but it gets you know enough you know you need. Uh, the guy does have a swivel 
right there. And he does have a uh, bend right there. A nice uh, ratchet right there. And this can move up and down too as well. And he does have a nice rocker too. So that's awesome. So yeah, they uh, all move the same. It looks really good. Uh, these do move up and down a little bit. But the articulation is really, really good on this fella. I like it. So there you go. There's articulation and sculpt work of Lynx. Crapagonics, a bought out Gatorade, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, here is Sky. I'm going to try to keep him in frame as much as possible. He's a big fella. Uh, only issues I really have, you know, he does have some, you know, they are chicken legs, but they're not the, you know, so he will tend to, you know, be a little back heavy or front heavy. Uh, but you always got the tail you can support it as well but he can stand without the tail uh i think he can uh yeah there he goes <laughs> barely but anyways there's the head sculpt nice head sculpt you saw in the you know shuttle he can open his mouth show his teeth grr you got that and same goes with the you know the blast effect if you put one of them in it's fine but if you put the big one in eh it may start to uh sag a little bit if I can put the one in, so you got that. And if you want to put the uh, big one in, I mean, it'll hold it up. It'll be hold it. Up. It holds up better than the the Lynx does. Come on. Uh, but it kind of you know it's a little heavy, so we'll you know start dragging his head down, and he will start leaning over and everything. But you can put it in there like that. So very nicely done, like that. Articulation the one you got. I wish this this one kind of slides in and out, which it kind of locked in better. We got one, two, three, four part, points of articulation, and they are ratcheted. And then up here, you got it's on a ball joint, so you can go side to side, up to down. So nice range of uh for the head movement. The wings can go up and can go like that, like that. Kind of wish you could go out outwards, and the the wings can move like that. Not much paint on the you know on the uh, wings nice uh, shiny blue plastic and everything it's got some nice sculpt work in there moving on down uh tail you have one two three points of uh, articulation and then move this side to side so really nicely done on the tail all right moving on to the checking legs so you can go up and like that and go in and out like that nice hard ratchet is uh, hard ratchets you got a swivel right there you got a nice little soft ratchet or hard ratchet right there uh, with the feet as well you got hard ratchets right there the toes move up and down and you do have a rocker so beautiful on that tons of articulation but like I said it will you got to work with it so you can stand on this one so but not many people are going to leave it like this and the like this anyways because you want to combine them but you will have issues with him standing up because yeah, so anyways, there is the uh, sculpt work and the uh, articulation of uh, Sky from Skylinks. Crapagonics, a bottle of Gatorade, some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, let's transform him into Skylink. So basically all you're going to do is take this, move it down, move his head back in, and then you're going to flip these down. And there you go. He's ready to go. Move Sky over here, or Lynx, I'm sorry, Sky. So you close these up like that, and then you're gonna do that. That's so good, let's do it again. Like that, there you go, he's ready to combine. So like I said, I showed you, you know, I tried to show you in shuttle mode. So basically you're gonna get up like that. See if I can do this. folks there he is not much to it to easy transformation there you go that's how you transform him into uh skylinks and you know same articulation he had you know with the uh, links and sky so, you know so you can move these back if you want to he does have the same you know so all, all the same articulation he did but uh separately make a little taller there you go. 
not much to it. Easy peasy. So pretty cool. There he is. I think it looks good. He's beefy. He's got a good weight to him too as well. So that's good. So there you go. There's Skylinks. And there he is next to Commander Class Jetfire, Leader Class Ultra Magnus, and a Deluxe Prowl scale. Crabagonics, a bottle of Gatorade, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks for scale. Doll. So, there is a third mode for them as well. It's a base mode, it's like a MicroMaster base, and it's also like a launch pad or something for the shuttle. So, I already transformed them back to his little launch pad thing or whatever. So, you take these out, and you turn them around like this, like that. And you're gonna untie these as well. And you're gonna take this, open it up like that, and you're gonna see this like that. And it's gonna be something like that. And you flip all of these things right here. And that's what it's going to look like so far. All right, so you're going to take uh, this ramp. There's a ramp right here. You're going to tab this. I can get it to it. Come on, man. There you go. Flip that out. And then you got some ramps right here as well. Untap those. And there's a ramp right here as well. And then this does extend. And I'll show you what the shuttle is. And then you can take these right here, lift them up right here, lift that up there. And you can take these little blasters and put them up here. <clears throat> and it was so fun. Let's do it again. Up to there, sideways, or turn around. And then move this up like that. Take this blaster right here. And there you go. There he is. A little MicroMaster machine, or a base. And then you take your shuttle. Let's see if I can. All right, I had to raise it up a little bit so you can see. So there are three little tabs right there. You see the old face, ooh. And basically you just take this, and then you got three right here. And you're gonna just uh, try to line it up as best you can. And then you can open this up right here and do that. And then you got a little launching pad. So pretty cool. I like that. I didn't secure it real enough. There you go. There you go. There you go. There's a little launching pad right there. And you can put little MicroMaster, you know, vehicles and everything and play around like a little play set. So that's pretty cool. Nice little third set for you, our little third mode for you. There are Skylinks in this base mode. So real quickly there, you got some little Micro Masters. I even got Legends in there. Uh, you can connect, I didn't show you earlier, you can connect, you know, the uh, little uh, bridges or whatever, uh, sound blast or sound barrier. Golly, come think of his name. And you can also add onto here, if you put on an Ironworks or you want to put on anybody, you know, that has a attachable thing like that, you can attach them and everything. You can make a big old big old play set and just fun this one has one too as well so when he you know lifts off you can add on more stuff to that too as well so there you go pretty cool so let's talk about some earthrise skylinks man oh man they did a superb job on uh, both commander class man this is my favorite earthrise figure so far out of the line uh, hands down it has been my favorite really really like it only really negative thing I can say is maybe is the tolerances, you know, within the, you know, when they're separate, you know, in sky mode, uh, you know, his legs are really, you know, not as tight as it would be. So, you know, you have to manu you know, manip manipulate a little bit trying to get him to stay and everything. But most people are not going to have him in that mode anyway, so it's not really a big deal. And as far as his neck too, I wish it maybe whenever you extend it, I wish it kind of locked in place. And, you know, the blast effects maybe, you know, they, you know, weigh him down a little bit, especially on both, you know, sky and links as well. So maybe it's a little tolerance issues that would you know a little bit but other than that man this thing is beautiful it got a lot of detail paint really nice paint applications articulation is really good lots of lots of hard ratchets and it sounds so good just the presence it has in it transformation is fun it's real easy uh you have the base mode which they didn't really have to throw that in but it's pretty cool they did because i really like that as well the little micromaster base and a launch pad i like that the details the articulation the paint it's just a fun the playability the blast effects i really love you got the little side little uh cannon 
things you get with that as well. Really nicely done. Overall, like I said, it's, one of, it's my favorite Earthrise uh, figure that come out of line so far. And uh, both Commander classes, they've done really good. Jet Fire was really awesome as well. So, man, let's bring on some more Commander classes. I want to see some more. Come on now. So, let's get on the floor and do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. Lots of details, man. The wingspan is awesome. I love the Autobot symbol with the gold background. Just beautiful. Now, I know people have been waiting for this. And it's, let's just make it happen. Dude, dude, oh my God. What the heck? Daddy, daddy, where you been? You went out for smokes about 15 years ago and you never came back. Well, you know, stuff just happens. You know, I just, you know, I couldn't handle the pressure of having a kid. What do you mean? I, it's just, you know, a lot of pressure. I can't help it. I just can't explain it. My God. Well, you know, I forgive you, I guess. You know, I just, I missed you. I missed you too, son. I thought about you all the time. How's your mama doing? Well, she died a long time ago. She was a chicken. They don't live very long. Man, I love that chicken. I miss her. Oh, well. Tell you what. You want to ride? What? Nobody's ever asked me that. Heck yeah, I want to ride. Come on. Let's go, Daddy. Let's go. Go on. Yeah, oh, God. You killed the baby. You know, kick the baby. Boop. All right. Well, that was the little reunion they had. That was awesome. Once again, a great figure. I love it. Highly recommend it, worth the $80. It's got a nice weight to it. Just a great figure. It's fun, it's playability, it's awesome. Don't know what else I can say about it. Mwah. All right, hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Uh, hit me up some comments, tell me what you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next, uh, please hurry up and get another commander class out. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro and good night, folks. I met my baby, yeah.